Uh, we know that countries uh, that have education, even without natural resources, Japan does not have our oil, does not have our beautiful uh, agricultural land. Uh, they have only Japanese, and every time one is born, the other <laughs> falls in water because it's a, yes. it's a tiny Shrinking. country. But they have technology, they have education. South Korea, education. So we need to invest on in education. And the earliest, the better. So we'll be supporting a massive first early stage uh, resources, voucher, to help to educate kids the early stages. Uh, so, because most of the income inequality in Brazil come from two sources. First, the inequality of educational opportunities. So the poor kids don't, don't have jobs, they don't have education, don't speak English, don't have... Uh, it's, it's a very sad thing, and very high taxes <laughs> on labor. Uh, and this tax on labor make that 40 million Brazilians do not contribute. They don't have jobs, they cannot contribute to the social security either. So you, you destroy jobs and you destroy the financial foundations of the social security system. We address that too. Uh, and the income inequality, one source, like I said, is the inequality of opportunity, especially through education, but also the privileges, that the lack of competition, because we should ask ourselves how 3.7 billion Eurasians are being removed from poverty. Never <laughs> in, the in the history of humankind. So many people escaped from, from poverty, like India, China, uh, Vietnam. They're escaping from poverty using the very same tools that we are not using, markets, competition. You go to Brazil, 200 million people have to buy uh, construction services from six companies. Have to, have to have a banking service from six banks. So cartel here, cartel there, cartel everywhere, exploiting 200 million because we don't like capitalism. <laughs>